Hi, in this session on managing participants, we are going to focus on the roles of the participants in the Zoom meeting. So what can each type of participant do during a Zoom meeting? We have a host, co-host, alternative host, and participant. Let's have a look. First, we click on participants to open the participants menu. Next to each participant's name, it lists their role. In this case, I am the host. And because this person is not listed as a host or a co-host, that means that they are a participant. When I hover over this student and click more, I can make them host or make them co-host. I need to confirm and now they are a co-host. So what can a host do during a Zoom meeting? Well, a host can schedule meetings, start and end meetings, control all of the in-meeting functions, basically everything in a Zoom meeting. So what can a co-host do during a Zoom meeting? A co-host can manage attendees and control most of the in-meeting functions, but cannot start or end a meeting, cannot promote participants to host or co-host, cannot assign participants to breakout rooms, and cannot create or edit polls. An alternative host is the same as a co-host, but they can also start meetings. Hosts must assign alternative hosts when scheduling the meeting. They cannot do this during a meeting. A participant, of course, can participate in the meeting. The participant can use only the functions granted by the host or co-host. Some of these functions include muting and unmuting, starting and stopping video, sharing their screen, chatting. Some platforms support answering polls and annotation. Notice that the Chromebook app does allow polling, but not annotation. And the web browser version does not allow polling, nor does it allow annotation. Click the link to the right to review this article to see a comparison chart of all of the functions for each of the roles in Zoom.